think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was going to talk. Right. Show those thieves. Take a look. Let's see. Let's see what we can sell. We don't need five swords. We don't need daggers. We don't need a mace. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um, I know the uh, mace was better than the sword, but I'm a sword person, so... Don't need those. Don't need the extra of that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I need that. Don't need those. That, that. That, or that. I can use those because I can put it on my arrows. Don't really need magic. Um, just hang on to it because I'm kind of sort of a hoarder. Food. Take stamina, or stamina regenerates some lift. Oh no, we don't need that. No. Five points of health, two points of health. The food in here is really weak for like, for like how much health do you have? Um, we'll keep all this for that. I'll learn that. And we can use that. Let's see what we got here. We'll use this. And actually with your ingredients, if you eat it, you'll actually learn like one of these four uh, unknown effects. So, say bone meal. We'll eat one. And see, look, yeah, it showed up. Damage stamina is one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and eat all these, or what I need to. Let's see, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and eat these real quick. So, not much. Not really too terribly useful, but... So, leveling up. When, you level, when your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magic, or your stamina. You can also select a new perk at the same time or save it. For later, available perks are highlighted in each constellation. Okay, and I really like to start off with stamina, but I think I want to go for health right now. So we're mainly going for bow and arrow. But we also need to have defense too, so or like close core combat, and that's going to be our sword and shield. But for right off the bat, we're going to head and build up our archery. Boast to 20% more damage. Sounds good to me. All right. All right. So we can go out here. Do we're going to do a few things in here. In this town, we're gonna let her. Go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. We're gonna let her wander off, and we're not gonna follow her because uh, I, I know how to get there. Hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. So let's. Too friendly to strangers, but you seem alright. Don't get too cozy. I'll pick your pocket. Uh -huh. So, we're gonna help this guy out so we can get a little easy, quick uh, crafting skills. So, we need to make an iron dagger. He gives you the stuff to do this, by the way. Let's so go ahead and make that. So, now you come over here and you talk to him. You looking for a new blade? Here's an iron dagger. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he gives you the stuff. You come over to grindstone. I already know how to do this. So you hit that. You push X. Brings up the damage of it. Bring this. This looks good. Put time into your blades. 
They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Okay. Good day. And you go here. We already know how to do this. You just go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna tan all this leather on a couple strips. Go over here. You the sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. Nah. <laughs> Here's the leather ah, you wanted. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Okay. Hide, hide easy. Let's go under the thing. Go the helmet. This gives us a little bit of free stuff because he gives us yes. the materials, so. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. So that would be right. sweet if you could actually be hired on as an assistant. And then like he give you like quests to go get certain materials from certain crazy You're locations and craft this crazy mm -hmm. armor and stuff. You have talent. That'd be that'd be a pretty cool, sweet at your craft, idea. And you'll be a pretty cool, sweet one day. Oh, Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Take a look. How would I take that helmet and dagger and sell it back hmm. to you? Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Let's see. Oh, he does have one. I will take your hunting bow. Um, let's see what we got in here. Not much use of. Um. Value six. No. I don't. I can find arrows. Um, we can make a lot of them too, so. Alright. Um, let's go here. What does it take to improve the bow? We need leather strips, and we have that. Yeah. Sweet. And we'll go ahead. Weapons. Unfavorite that, favorite that, and equip it. So now we got that. Um. See where this guy's at. See if I can find him real quick. Don't see him. You can hear the blacksmith from over here pounding away on this stuff. Well, let's go ahead and get a couple of these. They it usually does it in like increments of three and you'll get two pieces of wood for each one you chop I believe yeah so we'll get six we'll end up with like twelve <clears throat> kick back and watch the lizard chop some wood like the imperials try to chop off my head But this game's pretty sweet. I plan um actually today is Thursday and it's actually ten forty one, I believe. Yeah. It's ten forty one. And tomorrow is Friday. And I work at six thirty in the morning. And I don't get off until about three. And I but by the time I get home, the Elder Scrolls online beta servers will be back up um, and I plan on playing that and recording it and I'm gonna do, do a little bit of uh, background check and see if I can uh, release some footage from it I'm gonna record the footage or record the gameplay and so that way I have my personal view of how the game works I've played it in the beta a little bit 
already last time and this was before I upgraded my computer my graphics card my RAM and it ran it, it, I, the graphics what I had to put them at the lowest I could and um, it looked it didn't look great but it was it was still pretty freaking fun it was pretty pretty sweet so um, what we're gonna do is I think you I think uh, that guy I want to talk to went in his house so we're gonna steal this stuff right here and this will help us out here in a second so we're gonna come down here make some iron arrows as much as we can that leaves us six firewood half of what we got and then next time we level we're gonna do some smithing blacksmithing excuse me I apologize and we're gonna take the steel that we got and come make some steel arrows because they're stronger but this guy up here I think believe this is his house if I'm not mistaking yeah this is his house well this is how you know how to get to him if you lost where he went did I see you talking to Sven? maybe not maybe never mind but I would stay away from him if I were you. What's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. Um... You hope you don't sound very sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Okay. Alright then. We'll come back. Don't worry guys, we'll come back. And we already know where she's at. She's in here. Cause this is that girl right here. You're a strapping young man. Don't be a stranger. Ooh. Um, you I'm gonna help this guy out. And you'll see why. I have a letter for you from Sven. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean out you can tell Sven that he already has a mother I'm not speaking to him anymore good luck Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop okay so we're going to go back here and we're gonna tell him Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. I don't think village. Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. I saw it much gold, dude. So... Ooh, sorry. Apologize again. So what you want to do is go, follow me, I need your help. And this is how you can get him to become a follower. And to do this little trick, you need him to be a follower. Lead the way. So you I've got talk to him again. He says, hey, can you train me to be better at archery? I'll show you what I know. And you hit train. As many times as you can. So I can do it twice. So I'll look we leveled up. Play back out. You go, I need to trade some things you with you. And then you take the gold. And you go back. You go, can you train I'll me better at archery? You do this back and forth until you get you want me to carry? the max training you can from them, which is kind of cheap, I'll show you what I but know. in a sense, it's a little bug, what do you want me to but carry? they've had so long to fix it, and not only that, I'm playing I'll on Legendary, so the little boost is going to be nice. Must level up to train more. Right. So now, I'm going to take my gold back. I'm not going to take anything else. I could take the arrows, but... 
Uh, nah. I'm actually gonna have him follow me for a little bit. Because of it being on legendary. So, first thing is we could go do the quest, but we're actually gonna go this way. Because we're gonna have a little trouble doing that quest if we don't get a little bit more experience into the off to the side. Get some skills going. Especially on legendary, so. This guy should be right behind us. Alright, maybe not. If not, well, we're gonna have to do this by ourselves anyways, so. Alright, come back up here towards the mine. And since I don't have very good sneak, I'm gonna go ahead and take our boots off real quick. this way we can sneak up here try to there's going to be somebody up there look at this guy now he shows up there's that person right there right in the head so now we're noticed, but we have Bendel to help us out. Oh, I forgot. Tell you what, you start running, stab you in the back. Thank you, Fendal. Take a steel arrow that Fendal shot into him. We'll go ahead and eat that. Take that arrow back. We'll go ahead and equip our bow. Let's eat some of this food that we got. Oh, that's not food. Because coming in here gives you some experience, and it, if you like to do the crafting like me, it's it's really good to start off coming in here, because then you can, um, yeah, you can, you can get some early crafting stuff in here. Let's go ahead and level up. Let's go ahead and do some more health this time. I would do archery, but like I said, I want to get started on making some crafting stuff so we'll go ahead and do that let's go ahead and push this down just cuz don't like the looks of this drop that down hey one one didn't fall guys take this stuff for alchemy Let's see what we got going on here. Someone there? Nope, nope, nope. Shit. Sorry, bad language. Crap. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, right to the bears. Ooh. Yeah, I got messed up. Heck yeah, dude. Mess them up, Fendel. At least until I can start killing things really good like. 